welcome to Electric Car Converts um, in another video, instructional video here, um, all about replacing the daughter boards on our Tesla batteries. Um, so a couple of things that you're going to need is, I've got a little crocodile clip here, um, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers if you don't have one of these, but this is better. And then just a very small screwdriver like that. I've actually got two, a small one and a slightly bigger one. Um, they're not for driving screws, but more for flicking up little bits of plastic on these on the connectors on these plastic clips. Okay, so the first thing you do is I've already done it, but take off the plastic covering. So this comes off the top. This is the thin bit. We can get rid of that. And then the bottom bit. Now the best way to do this is if you have it laying there, lift up the battery and have somebody else take it away from underneath you. These batteries are 25 kilos each, so you'll struggle to do that by yourself. Um, sounds silly, but here we are. So now we have the plastic covering off the battery. It's super important that we don't touch any of this in here because these are all the individual 444 cells. If we start touching them, we're going to potentially put, um, damage them. Um, so be very careful. Don't let anyone come and put anything on top. If you put something metal, like your screwdriver, across the top of these cells, they'll short and they'll blow. So very careful with that. Obviously, this is an expensive piece of kit. When you're moving and handling it, hold it by these edges here. So this is actually how batteries are mounted. They slide in. So you can lift it from this. It's quite hard on your fingers, but what can you do? That's what it's all about. The last thing I mentioned is I put it on a tea towel here on the table. And what this allows me to do is spin it round and get to it in every angle without having to pick it up and move it um, all the time, okay? So a daughter board, this is a Tesla daughter board, um, comes as standard in this, in this case, a 2019 Model S. This is a 5.3 kilowatt hour battery. So this is what talks to the battery management system in the Tesla car. Um, and obviously it's very complicated, as you can see there. So we don't have a system that will actually talk to this and get the data off it. So we use this one. So as you can see, it's the same size and shape, um, but it's far more simple, although it has got exactly the same connectors on it. So that means that this is simply a plug and play job. You don't need to do any soldering or anything because of these um, aftermarket daughter boards. Um, now, if you need to get hold of one of these, let us know. Um, you have our email address and our website. So we can get hold of these for you and ship them out to you wherever. Um, so the reason we're going to these specific ones is that these work with the Orion 2 BMS system, system which is the battery management system. Um, and fundamentally what this does is we have one on each of the batteries and these link directly to the BMS. So that therefore the BMS, think of it as the brain of the operation, can talk to every single battery individually and then the daughter board speaks to every single cell individually. That way we're looking at heat, we're looking at over voltage, we're looking at under voltage, discharge rate, we're looking if it's getting um, charged up too quickly, everything we can view and therefore adjust based on the brain, which is the BMS, okay? So that's why we're doing it. And now let's get into it and start, start working. Okay, so let's get into it. This green board is the original out of the Tesla Model S. This is the one we're going to put into it, okay? So the first thing we do is take your little thin screwdriver and you need to pry it under these little plastic clips. Now, these plastic clips have a little bit in the middle um, that you need to pull all the way out and that allows the whole thing to come out. So what I do is I just come under there with the, with the screwdriver, give it a little twist. Now that it's come out a tiny little bit, I take the crocodile clip. You can do this with your fingernails, but it's not very easy. Clip it on there and then you pull. Okay, so now that takes out the tiny little plastic pin that's holding it in. Okay, so keep that nice and steady. Keep it nice and safe, I mean. And we're going to do the next one. There's four of these. So there we are under there. Twist it, prize it out a little bit. Then I put my crocodile clip, or you can use some needle nose pliers, for example. Put it on there and pull, and out it comes nice and easily, okay? Okay, so now we've got those four pins out, we can start thinking about the actual plastic clips. Um, so similarly as the previous ones, but in this case, I put the screwdriver behind. 
and I just try and slowly ease it out of the little hole. So there you can see it's coming forward a little bit. Again, take the crocodile clip and pull the whole thing. Now this is the whole pin that's actually holding um, the daughter board in place. And these little pins are what go inside there to actually hold it out so it can't come, it can't fall out at all, okay? So keep them really nice and safe. Um, and I'm gonna go through and do the rest. There we are, a little twist of the screwdriver. They can be quite stiff. I'll be quite careful because we don't wanna ruin any of these connections. So let's go in here, little pull and then it pops out, crocodile clip, and out she comes, okay? As any YouTube video, this will be much harder in real life. I've done this five times now, so I've got the hang of it, but they do come out. If you do break them, you can put screws in um, to into the little holes instead, but um, it'd be better to use expensive Tesla engineering um, instead of screws. Now, our daughter board is free to move around, but obviously we can't get it out without getting in behind these clips. So, behind this plug is a little clip um, that you can get to that is fundamentally clipping onto something like that. Um, so we can stick the screwdriver in bit behind, flick that clip up, and then be able to pull this first plug out okay so I'm gonna do that now so I'm gonna use my small one so I'm lifting this clip up with my screwdriver and then wiggling that up and up she comes like so so here's that little this little plug that was the clip that I was lifting up in there, um, which has unplugged it. So we're in a little bit closer now. Um, you can see the clip on the back of there, which is what I was prying open with this screwdriver just to get it out. Now I'm going to do the same thing under here. As you can see, there's the same little blue clip. If I hold that up with the screwdriver, and sort of just push against it. That will come out. I can even do this one with my finger now, because there's a bit more space. And now she comes. So now we've got the top and the bottom blue plugs out. We can go to this one on the edge. Now this clip, it looks like it should be that way, but actually screwdriver goes in this side. Being really careful not to touch any of these cells, which is easier said than done. Lift up that little pin and you can start to push it out. These ones are quite tight. So lifting that pin and pushing. There we go. So now that's up. Those are the three plugs. These two were the blue ones, that one was the white one. And as you can see, it's got Tesla written all over it up here, Tesla Model S. Um, these, I'm pretty sure you can sell on eBay again if you don't want them. Um, but uh, yeah, I think they look quite cool. So let's get rid of that and pull in this. Now, obviously this has the same two plug, three plugs, two blues, and a white. I know these are red, but they've got blue plugs going into them, okay? And far less stuff all over them, okay? So, hold it up in the same position. It's very simple. This white plug goes back in there. Then do the bottom one. So, you can get your finger over here. I, would, I actually would sometimes pull the battery over off the edge of the table so I can get this one in. So I'm just going to pull this over the edge of the table and this means that I can get this plug in underneath. Again, that's why we do it with this T-tile underneath, it makes it way easier. 
Okay, and then the top one, very simply, in like so. Now, obviously, squeeze these in, make sure they're nice and tight. But these are very thin plastic wires, so we really don't want to break them at all. Okay, so we've got our three plugs in now. Um, so, as you can see, the, the holes on this new daughter board line up with the existing um, existing mounting points on the battery. So we're going to go in with the bigger clip first, simply push it all the way in, in it goes, do this four times, okay, now that does actually hold it quite securely, but um, then put the little pins and you can just push them in there. Just be quite careful not to break them. And that's that one in. Two. Three. Okay, so there we have it. Um, daughter board is replaced on this 5.3 kilowatt hour um, Tesla battery pack. Um, I would, now you put on the plastic covering again, so lift it up by the side rails, place it underneath, place it back down, and then the thin one goes over the top. Um, you'll work out how the clips work on the edge, and what I've actually been doing after putting those clips together is putting a little bit of clear tape over each edge just to hold it all nice and secure and in place. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. So everybody, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe on this video. Um, let us know in the comments what you want to learn next, if there's anything I've missed or anything you'd like to add. Um, we're going to show you as much of the technical detail of the, of our builds as, as we can um, to help out you DIYers out there um, or anyone who wants to learn a little bit more about how all this EV tech works, specifically in conversions. So thanks very much for watching and see you next time.